Yo, yo, yo. What up, guys? It's Kizzle from Kizzle's Picks. Bringing you a little KBO run through of the day. Um, yeah, thanks uh, for the comments and likes and everybody. We got 60 subscribers now. That's crazy. I've only been doing it for like a month, you know, but it's all good. Uh, all the games got canceled again. Four games canceled tonight. Looks like three of them. Might have uh, some weather issues again. The Kia NC, KT Hanwa, and maybe Samsung and Lotte. We've been waiting for that pitching matchup for, what, three, four days now? It's ridiculous. Uh, then An Wu Jin lost last night, man. Screwed up our one-leg parlay. I guess you can call that with the canceled games, right? But whatever, it's all good. We try again tonight. Um... Yeah, if you guys have time, drop a like, drop a comment. Uh, if you're new, subscribe, and uh, you can get notifications when I drop new videos and stuff. Uh, but that's it. Let's get right into it. Anyway, so Kia NC, we got Liu Li Lips going against Lee Young Jin. Jun. Yeah, it looks like a good pitching matchup here. Uh, Liu Li. Has been good lately against LG. We gave up three against LG. Six strikeouts against NC. Last time he gave up one run, six strikeouts over only four innings though. So that's nothing too crazy there. Yeah, and then against uh, Lotte, he didn't give up any runs, five and two thirds, three hits only. So last time against NC, he pitched good. And he's going up against Lee Young Jun. Where against Hanwa, he shut him out. He shut out Lotte also. Lotte's been hot. Uh, LG, he gave up two runs on three hits. Three walks, though. So. so, right here, we're looking at the first five under. Um, I like that, definitely. And I kind of like NC on the first five, but first five under is better. You know, so we could stick with that. And then I like uh, the under for the full game. And I like NC Moneyline for this one today. Alright, next game. We got KT and Hanwa. KT switched their pitcher. It's now uh, Um Sang back against uh, Hanwa's Moon Dong Ju. Where Um Sang is probably their best pitcher this year right now, it looks like. Against Samsung. He went seven innings, shutout baseball, four hits only. Eight strikeouts against Kai Woom. Five innings, one run, four hits, six strikeouts. Against SSG, five innings, zero runs, two hitter, six strikeouts. So he pitches pretty good. Uh, Moon Dung Ju against NC, he gave up four runs, eight hits, seven strikeouts. Doosan, he didn't give up any runs, only two hits, eight strikeouts. Kia, two earned runs, three hits, six strikeouts. So that's not too bad there. Uh, so we're looking at the first five under. Um, I'm sung back. If it was the other pitcher from KT that was supposed to go yesterday, I had Hanwa in here. I like Hanwa's team total, if you can do that on DraftKings for the first five under. Um, I like KT full game. Money line, and I like them on the run line, and I like the under for the full game. Next up, we got LG and Doosan. This pitching matchup we've been waiting for days, too. Casey Kelly versus Quack Ben. And I still feel the same way in this game. I like uh, Doosan the first five, and I like the first five. Under, man, right? Is that what I am? I think Casey Kelly's going to pitch good with all this extra rest and everything, but... I'm probably not going to play that, though. I'm just going to go deuce on first five. Because who knows with Casey Kelly. He used to be good, but now he's been sucking this year, so... I don't know. I'm even looking at LG's team total for the first five under. And then full game, I like deuce on money line. Uh, maybe even run line. The thing is, Doosan doesn't score too many runs sometimes. So that's what scares me with the run line. But definitely Doosan money line <clears throat> and Doosan first five. 
Quack Band's been great this year. Next up, we got SSG and Kai Woom. Eric Joskic versus Song Yeon Jin. It's another good pitching matchup. Both pitchers are undefeated. 3-0 and 2-0. Josic uh, against Samsung went 6 innings, 0 runs, 2 hits, 4 strikeouts. He's not striking out that many this year, but he's pitching good. Against KT, 6 innings, 2 runs, 8 hits. KT gets a lot of hits. So. Uh, Samsung again, he pitched there. Uh, he gave up 1 run there. Alright, so then we got Song Young Jin for SSG. Uh, against LG, he gave up two runs, three strikeouts, three, whoa, six walks against KT. Damn, man, what the heck? Against NC, he's gonna give up any runs. So, uh, I'm liking, what do I like here? I got, what I write down, I got the first five under, I wrote down, I didn't really pick a team, and both bullpens been working a lot the last two days, and I'm kind of liking SSG on the money line, I think, maybe the first five, Kai Woom, but probably full game, SSG, they split right now, so it's a rubber match, and I think SSG is a better team, so, I think they'll cover and that game for sure will be played because they're playing in the dome. And now, finally, the matchup that I've been waiting for for a while, man. This is my one I like Samsung in. And I still like him in this one, man. So we got right here Charlie Barnes. You guys already know if you've seen any previous videos. He's been giving up a lot of runs as of late. Well... Not really as of late. Gave up two to Kai Woom, two to NC. So he's pitching decent. Uh, Juan Tain, on the other hand, against KT, two runs. Against Kia, blew him up, five runs. Lote, one run. Let's go back a little bit because he pitches pretty good all year. He's got a. Uh, then we got, where is it? Whoops, sorry. SSG. Oh, four runs. No, oh, maybe not. Wrong picture, I guess. So, yeah. Anyways, I had, um, first five Samsung. That's what I've been liking for days, right? And the first five under. I think, I think Samsung can blow them up again like they did last time. They beat them up last time. Samsung's got some powerful hitter, hitters. Jose Perelia's on their team. And he usually leads the league in batting average and stuff every year. So he's pretty good. So we like Samsung first five. I like the full game under. And I like Samsung maybe a little toss on the money line. But definitely the plus one and a half runs. All right, guys, that's it for today. Uh, don't forget to comment, drop a like, uh, subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if you're going with me or against me. We got to hit one of these parlays soon. Hopefully all the games played tonight. But hold on, let's go over here again. Sorry, guys, let's go. It says, game likely be to be canceled due to rain. Yeah, it looks like Kia NC is not going to play. What about Hanwa, KT, chance of rain out, uh, 52%, uh, not looking good. And Samsung Lote, yeah, windy and rainy, 80%. Yeah, I don't think they're playing, man. They make it cool with KBO, what they do at the end of the season, they have uh, like two weeks before the playoffs where they make up all the games that they missed because of the rain and stuff so it's pretty cool so they'll be playing these games at the end of the year it's kind of crazy but it's all good it's a good system you know so if there's a crappy field and it's a close call they just cancel the game because they're gonna make it up anyways so no big deal all right guys have a great day uh watch the heat and the knicks let's go dubs against the lakers uh I got some nice uh, same-game parlays for those games. 
And that's it, guys. Have a great day. Kizzle out. Peace.